Hey guys, I'm Jake Matthews, UFC lightweight. We're at Accelerate Training Centre in Melbourne, Australia. I'm joined by my BJJ coach and head of CF Blister Australia, Carlos Portuguese Vieira. Carlos is a multiple Pan America champion, multiple European champion, Australian champion. Brazilian national. Brazilian national champion. Five times Polista champion. Five times Polista champion. And Carioca champion. And that champion. All right guys, so we're gonna look at a variation of a double leg takedown. This variation I like to use for MMA especially because it avoids getting caught in guillotines and getting stuck in guard on the takedown. So what we're gonna do, so we set up our takedown. Now a lot of people, I like to do my double legs with a gable grip and that's gonna stop the guard. Um, but a lot of people like to use a double leg and have a hand behind each knee. And with this, uh, you know, your opponent can pull guard. So if I go for a takedown, Carl's wraps his guillotine. I land in the guard and I get caught in the guillotine. So the variation we're gonna look at, we're gonna use like an outside reap and that's gonna avoid landing in the guard even if they do get wrap the guillotine. So we level change, shoot in. So a hand on each knee and now as my front knee hits the floor, my back leg's gonna step up. I'm gonna hook the back of Carlos's lead leg, pull it out. Now as we land, I don't wanna just release. He's gonna pull his, guard, pull his leg back and retain his guard. So once we land, have the leg wrapped, I'm gonna twist my hips, push the leg out of the way and come on top to a side control. So we'll do that one more time. So we level change and again, we're not stepping into this takedown. We're gonna land in our front knee. So drop into the front knee, head's nice and tight against the body. That's gonna help not get caught in the guillotine. So our back leg comes up, wrap the lead leg, pull it out. When we land, use my hip, push the leg out the way and we settle on top for a side control. All right guys, so from this angle, we're gonna get a better view of the hip switch uh, and why it's so important. So again, we do our double leg takedown. I use my reap, take the leg out. Now from here, again, I don't wanna relax my legs and just let him settle back into a guard. So watch my hips. I'm gonna plant my right foot on the floor. And I use my knee and my hips to push the leg out of the way. And once we've done that, I've got a clear path around the guard to the side control.